I am Dr. Sandeep Padmanabhan, Consultant Neurologist and Epileptologist at Astromed City, Cochin. As you know, uh, National Epilepsy Day is on November 17th. And epilepsy is a disorder of the brain that is affecting millions of people worldwide. A lot of people are suffering from epilepsy. Epilepsy is, as you know, is a tendency of a patient to have recurrent seizures. These seizures could be as simple as uh, absent seizure or it could be as dramatic as something like a generalized seizure. There are various causes of seizures. There could be of very obvious causes and non-obvious causes for seizures. And uh, these patients go through various treatments during a lifetime. Most of the epilepsies are potentially controllable, but there is a small proportion of patients who have difficulty in control of epilepsy by medications. The mainstay of treatment in epilepsy are anti-epileptic medications. And there is a subset of patients who are not, who do not respond well to treatment. And this is called medically refractory epilepsy. Whether it is a easily manageable epilepsy or whether it is a difficult to manage epilepsy, these patients go through a lot of emotional trauma when they go through the treatment for epilepsy. As mentioned, the mainstay is anti-epileptic drug therapy or anti-seizure medications. None of these medications are known to cure epilepsy, but rather control epilepsy. But the most important step in, in uh, managing a patient or, ma or managing a person with epilepsy is to identify what exactly the problem is and then give a treatment that is appropriate to the situation, appropriate for the epilepsy, for which classification of epilepsy becomes paramount and that is the most important thing. The mainstay, as mentioned earlier, we need to uh, address the issue, issues that the patient is suffering from. It need not be the epilepsy itself. It could be a social stigma. It should be, it could be something like a, a psychiatric comorbidity that the patient has. The caregivers would have burnt out. There, there needs to be a social support as well. But at Astral Med City, we are planning or we are actually planning to give a comprehensive care to patients with epilepsy that includes basics of, uh, of understanding the patient, understanding the history of the patient, the clinical features of what the patient has, what kind of epilepsy the patient has, an attempt to classify epilepsy, to investigate, the, uh, to find out the exact cause and subject patients if they are good candidates subject for an epilepsy surgery, at the same time giving them support pharmacologically as well as uh, addressing all the comorbidities that these patients have. This might include uh, psychological problems uh, or psychiatric issues. There could be side effects of medications and even there could be uh, trauma or other diseases that the patient has along with this. For this, we have an entire team of uh, epilepsy specialists which includes uh, neurologists which are, who are epileptologists. We have a pediatric neurologist. We have epilepsy surgeons. We have an entire neurophysiology, electrophysiology team, a neuropsychology support for evaluation of epilepsy, at the same time giving psychological support, a psychiatry support for disorders uh, associated with epilepsy, and even a uh, pharmacological support for patients who require counseling for drug therapy and monitoring and, uh, and adhering to drug therapy. We are specifically trying to target patients who have difficult to treat epilepsy, difficult to control epilepsies, which most of the time requires this comprehensive evaluation. And we'll have to go through something called a pre-surgical evaluation, whereby we find out whether these patients are eligible for an epilepsy surgery. Not all patients who go through this evaluation are, will be eligible for surgery, but by this evaluation, we will be able to pinpoint the exact cause of epilepsy will be able to address the same and uh, monitor the treatment progress of the patients so that they can be brought back to a normal life.